seeking to be filled, a genuine good desire, right? Of being filled with poison. Not good, <laughs> right? You, you can't fill that desperate, deep longing in yourself for something more with poison. Toxic, right? It's going to be toxic. People will disagree, but like this is the point I'm trying to say here is humanity is desperately trying to fill a genuine, desperate desire for something beyond himself in order to discover himself. But he refuses to allow himself to be filled with the one thing that will fill it. On an ever constant journey to fill something that is good, a genuine desire placed in him by his creator can only be filled by his creator. And then I ask this in the next line, is there no end to this wretched hell bringing? And this hell bringing is, is this chase, you know, it's this chase to fill something that needs filled, that should be filled. And it's a good thing that like, there is that desire for it to be filled, but it's this ever never ending chase to fill it, but filling it with all the wrong things and refusing the one thing that will fill it. <clears throat> then continues on, I must unlearn the lies of this age and rediscover the true history. Deep inside, I can feel the flame, the greatest enemy to their industrialized slavery. So in describing the world around him and the lies of this age, the fabricated history of this age, uh, of in the fantasy world, all right? I'm not trying to hint at that our history is fabricated, although that I believe that some things are, you know, at least some things are overemphasized and then you miss other things, obviously. Um, At, at, you know, as with all things, there's two sides. As with all stories, there's two sides to it, you know. Um, but, the, you know, the goal here isn't really necessarily to say that our history is uh, inaccurate, although as there can be things that are. Um, the goal is to say, like, in this story it is. And he's saying, like, in so deep in himself, he can feel this flame, like, uprising against these lies. Like, he knows they're lies deep down. He knows... And he's saying that is this is the greatest enemy to their industrialized slavery. That is basically what's going on in the world that he lives in. It's industrialized slavery. It's big industry and people all working under it. No, no part for the little makers. It's all big industry and slavery. <laughs> and then it goes on to say, I am no slave. You know, just shouting it out like, this is not who I am. I know this is not who I am. Then he goes on describing the world again around him. It says confusion and loss of de identity, pursuit of false security. So there's confusion, um, you know, obviously about where they come from, who they are, you know, where they come from, everything. And that, that in turn... With, without the, the de that knowing, people that people don't know who they are. People desperately want to know who they are, what they're here for. You know, the purpose of life. Why am I here? Everybody wants to know. And then describing it further, pursuit of false security. That's why he's describing the slavery as it's like it's happening because people want the false security uh, that these that these industries will offer them, basically. And it, it's false security. And then goes on to say, I am no slave, I am become my name. And that that is basically a vow to become himself, you know? He's saying, I am become my name. This is, I will become, you know? Every day, I am become my name. I am growing and becoming more of myself you know and the only way he's doing that is by accepting this deep deep knowing inside of him that a lot of people deny of how he is a creature under god 
and this is his place in the world. It's not a bad thing, you know, and realizing that this is who I am. This is what I'm supposed to do and finding purpose in that, you know. <clears throat> so then last part, last few lines of the song, devils of the earth, heed these words, giving a warning, you know. I embody all you seek to destroy. I embody like freedom. I embody man in his true essence. This is like, you know, what he's saying. And I embody everything you're trying to destroy. You're trying to destroy man as he was meant to be, as he was created, you know, to be subject under God, to be God's creature and not a devil's creature or servant of the devil, but of God. And then he says, you will not stop the Eden bringing. So it's kind of like, going against this idea of the hell bringing is the Eden bringing. Eden is representative of like this paradise, this place where man walked with God and he walked in paradise. He, you know, he walked as he was created to be, you know, before the fall. So that's what he's saying he's going to bring to the world. And that is all I have for this song. We'll get into the next song whenever the song is released, which there will be a new song released at the end of this month. So watch out for that. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you later.